In this video, I am going to show you how to fuse your interfacing to the back of your two and a half inch fabric strips. For this project, we are using inner form, single sided fusible. Now it comes on a roll pre cut to the width that you need. Uh, you can also buy it in yard packages and cut your own strips. In any case, you've already cut your interfacing strips according to the pattern directions. You've already cut your fabric strips two and a half inches wide according to the pattern directions. Now if you're using the same fabric on both sides you can cut one strip the width of your fabric. If you're using two separate fabrics then you're going to cut those two separate fabrics according to the pattern directions. Now this fusible is fusible on one side and on the other side it's smooth and soft. In this project we want the fusible side up. So if you're using one single strip and that means the fabric will be the same on both sides, you're going to place that strip, the center of the strip, right on the end of your fusible strip. Now the fusible is two and a quarter inches wide, your fabric strip is two and a half inches wide, so it's just slightly wider, your fabric is just slightly wider than the interfacing. With a steam iron, you'll want to iron that onto the back. Now you want to make sure that you've overlapped just your fabric, just a little bit over each side of the interfacing strip. If you're using two separate fabrics so that one fabric will be on the front and one fabric will be on the back, place your one of your fabric strips, and I would use the same fabric um, or the same tone to fuse first and then use the other fabric on the back when you go to sew. So on this one you're going to fuse this on your interfacing strip. Then, in both cases, you will place the second strip right side down or fold the back of your long fabric strip in half with right sides together and stitch down both sides with a scant, very scant, quarter inch seam. That's it. 